I think I'm going to mount a dimmer switch on the wall about here. And that dimmer switch is going to control this light under the cabinet here. And then maybe the lights that are going to be under a cabinet on this side of the van. And then some under the cabinet lights over here. So that's the plan. Measure twice, drill once is the motto. So four inches out. Inches back. Inches out. Ten inches back. Uh, teeth get plugged up with the sawdust and it doesn't drill as good. And I've also marked with a red marker around the outside of this drill bit so I know when I'm going to break through on the other side and I can reduce the amount of pressure I'm pushing. So when it breaks through on the far side, it comes through a little bit smoother. There. So then you, you know, kind of want the wire at the back. So you got to put it through first. The wire at the back. And you angle it up like this. Well, let's, let's angle it this way here. You angle it up like this. And then you start feeding that clip up through here. It's a hole. And you go above, get yourself a little flat bladed screwdriver to help that come up. And see how that clip then clips over on the three quarter inch plywood? There. And that's the way the light looks on the top side. And it fits nice and flush on the bottom side. In, uh, this video I want to talk about DC switches controlling lights and I want to talk about on off switches and also dimmer switches with an on off switch built in. So these are the switches that uh, I've elected to go in the van and they're very simple. Uh, you just click on off and the dimmers have a sliding control to vary the brightness of the light and these are on DC circuits direct current and direct current as a positive and a negative terminal 
The difference between a switch only and a dimmer switch is the fact that on your switch only you have a positive coming into the switch and a positive going out of the switch. So one of the connection connections on that switch will be for the power, the 12 volt power. And the next connection you run it to your light. So power is going to come into the switch on the positive terminal. When you switch it, the light comes on. And I think you can see that right up here. So light off, light on, and basically the switch just cuts off the plus 12 volts going to the light. On a dimmer switch, there's three wires. You have your red, which is your positive 12 volts. You have your white, which is going to the load or to the lights. And you have a black wire that you have to connect to ground. Because the way a dimmer switch works is that it's going to take the 12 volts in and depending on where you have the dimmer switch set, it's going to be outputting either 12 volts or something less than 12 volts, so you can dim the lights. And therefore, you need a negative terminal that's going to take the rest of the current that you're not sending to the light and sending it back to ground. So you've got positive 12 volts, which would come from your positive 12 volt junction box. You have your white wire wired up to the lights and you have a black wire connected to the ground or the chassis ground system of the van. So you can see here, I think I've got a light. You can see it up there. So on, you can see it come on and then you can see the brightness of the light controlled by the dimmer switch and these are LEDs that can be operated with a dimmer switch and on off turn that one off and that's the two types of switches that you would typically see in a van one with a uh, dimmer control on off which has three wires and one with a straight on off switch that has two wires. Now to wire this dimmer switch up to several light locations you simply have to run the white wire which I have you, <clears throat> you simply have to run the white wire which I have connected to a red wire and I run that up through the wall and I attach it here to this positive junction, this positive bus bar. So this is where the power for the under the cabinet lights is going to come from. So from this positive bus bar I connect the positive wire over to this light here. So that one is going to be on the dimmer switch. I also take a red wire because I have two red wires connected here. You can see the <clears throat> one coming up from the three-way switch. And this other red wire is going to run through the van. And this is it here, which I may splice in another junction box to power some more under the cabinet lighting in this location. And it runs up into the cable tray of the van, runs all the way around, and comes out here. So this is the white 
outlet of the dimmer switch wired all the way over to this positive bus bar and to that I connect the positive wires of my under the cabinet lights that I have here and here. The negative wires from those lights is connected to a negative bus bar and I simply run that over here to my DC panel to ground the lights that are on this side of the van. Interestingly enough, the ground wire that comes off this other under the cabinet light that I'm going to have on the dimmer comes up to this bus bar which is my negative bus bar and I run a negative wire down to my negative bus bar under the sink and that particular bus bar is grounded back to a DC panel that's located right here. So both of these DC panels, the one on the left side of the van and the one on the right side of the van, these DC panels, are both grounded to the frame which is underneath here. So it doesn't it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> so it really doesn't matter where you ground your lights. You can pick it up in any location that's eventually routed back to the chassis ground. Makes it convenient for running those ground wires.
Here we are, switch for above the sink. The switch is not wired in anything. This switch is for the variable dimmer light in this corner here. Plus, it dims and brightens the lights at the back.